So this is a previous PDF document that I was able to do some work on like editing, annotating and converting as well as compressing to different file formats. And it's all thanks to a very good tool of mine that I've been using for a while now. The good thing about this is that the software that I'm talking about today is actually not just supported on the iPhone. It's supported on Windows, Android, Mac and so on. Right here, you can see the official website for this software. It's called UPDF and they allow you to do all these features including a brand new AI feature that has been updated. Opening the software for the first time here I like the fact that this is a very clean look it's not like overwhelming or cluttered with different functions and features you can see on top you have your tabs right there so the more tabs you open the more documents that you can edit at the same time from jumping from tab to tab simultaneously and then here you have your recents you have your stead and then you have pdf cloud where you can save documents on different devices and you'll be able to access all those documents whether you are recording on your Mac or on your iPhone from the cloud. Here I just added three recent PDFs so that I can show you how editing and annotating as well as like filling up documents will work. So for example, if we begin with this cover letter, you can see the more you zoom in here, then the more this box that shows you which part of the PDF you are viewing zooms in as well. And then if you zoom out, you notice it shows now the whole PDF page. These are the tools that we have, for example, we have this reading tool and under each specific tool we have like different functions under it so for example under our read we have like a zoom percentage that you can zoom in and out and we have first page or previous page if you have a multiple PDF page and if you create a slideshow you can choose from playing from the start or playing from the current and these are different tools there as well that we have like OCR, we have export PDF, we have protect using password if you want to protect your documents and we have share this file with others and if you want to send it an email this is the option and you can also save as others so when you go to where it says comment right here you can see all the different sub tools under the comment section that show up here so we can add sticky notes whatever we write it shows our name right there and it allows for collaboration as well if you share this with other people if we go to our sticky note and we want to put it like besides experience it goes right there and the next two here is highlight so for example if you want to highlight a specific word you notice it gives you different color options and then if you want to choose a custom color you can go to the wheel right here we want to highlight where it says experience right here so boom it's highlighted next if we want to strike through something like for example this education text we can just do this and then strike through choose the color that you want for example say red don't don't look at the education so you notice it's now strike through if you want to underline something you notice you choose your underline color as well so we'll underline like workplace here and now it's underlined if you want to squiggly underline something you can do that so for example if we go under this and then underline it you notice how it's underlined squiggly and uh, you notice the difference between workplace underline and this one that we just added if you want to add a text comment like say for example uh, workplace name and we want to add text like half uh, man half tech just like that you notice our text is there and depending on the different text that you are going to select you notice there's so many and you can go all the way to the end so you have a lot of options to choose from if I choose that you notice here how it looks and if I click here and I want to move it to the side that's how it looks text box and this one basically allows you to put text in a box and for example HMHT just like that and it's in a box and if we click to the side you notice how it's going to look this is a call out so if you want to call out something let's say um, I want to call out this portion here and you notice the first point where you click this is where it's going to begin the call out from so we'll click there and then you can choose like the box of the color right there if we say red or if we add it to blue I think white actually looks good and now our callout text is there and if we want to add words in the callout text 
or I'll make my color my text black if you want to drag it to the side you notice how this call out text looks this is a pencil option too that you can use and then if you use the pencil like you draw something like this and then you don't like it you have an eraser that allows you to erase it don't worry it won't erase all your different annotation options that you've done if you want to add arrows or different shapes you can see here you can choose the pointer size you can choose the opacity and the different shapes that you want we also have like different stickers that you can add for example if we add this sticker here and then we want to make it like smaller like that put it here you can add the sticker and then if you go to this section this is where the stamps are and you can choose a custom stamp if you like and if you want to create one it actually allows you to create one if you want to import one you can do so this is where you can basically create your signature so if you go to where it says create you notice you can choose the thickness of your writing so for example if we put bm right here just like that and then underline it you can also choose like keyboard mouse or trackpad whatever you want to select as your input and then click where it says create and now if we put our signature there it goes up as big and now we can take it and drag it to where we want and boom we've basically managed to edit this document under this edit pdf2 right here you notice you can be able to edit text you can add images and edit images or add links and if we try to add it like text for example let's say this motion graphic master if we go after master and then we put like today just like that boom now we have text right there and you can see how our pdf looks this section here is the prepare form 2 and it allows you to add like a text field to add a checkbox if it's something that you want to do it allows you to add a drop down for options so this is like creating a really advanced pdf that you are going to be sending to someone to basically be able to make different selections and compile and you can select the links box a ok button and digital signature and so on and here is duplicate across pages here is page organization if you have a page or a pdf document that has that is multiple pages and you go to this like uh, page organization this is page two right now on this document but if i want to make it page three you notice that and if i want to make page one the last page or page three then it's 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 very simple it's a matter of drag and drop right here and you can organize your pages according to how you need and then right here you can see if you want to insert something you can find like a blank page or from a file that you can extract and let's say for example this page number two if you want to rotate it you can rotate it in landscape mode that way and now it looks awful and then we can also rotate it back as well if you want to delete a page you can delete pages right there and it allows you to select multiple pages as well if you go to crop pages here for example you notice if you want to crop this page and then just have this as your document you can do that right here and then if you want to apply the changes you can click where it says crop or if you don't want you can basically just drag this and take it all the way through if you have a specific watermark that you want to add you can add one right there by creating a custom one or if you have like a, a one that you want to upload you can also do that as well as if it's an image you can do that and create one and here you have backgrounds that you can add and if you want to add headers and footers you can also do that i've just opened this pdf just to show you how easy it is to edit different fields so i just have to go where it says edit pdf and you notice as i go to each field there's those dotted lines that show up and it allows me to be able to edit this now on the right hand side here you can see you can find different words or sentences within your pdf document and then you can recognize character using optical character recognition and this basically takes text from images that was unreadable before and then makes it readable and now you are able to search and find that 
same phrase that couldn't be done before and if you have a document that doesn't have OCR performed yet you can perform OCR and then it will ask you to save the document right there and now you'll be able to find those exact same word here we have export PDF and you can see you can be able to convert it to different formats including XML and you can convert it to word among other document formats as well now here if you want to protect your document be it PDF or whatever it is, you can encrypt with a password. And now when you send it, you can share the password separately and that way it will be secure. This way it says share with others, you can create a different link to share with others to be able to edit or be able to open the same document and if you want to add, send your edits and documents that you've worked on via email this is the option that you click and it will automatically open up your email and this one here is the save as other and here you can choose whatever formats that you want if you want to reduce the size if you want to save as flattened or save as pdf and other format you notice here it allows you to be able to do that and now if you go to this section that says UPDF AI right here you notice by using this is a new feature and you have to agree to being able to use it and it automatically recognizes the PDF that you are working in and I just clicked get started with in these other function PDF and it's just processing and now it's summarizing and it's telling me everything that it sees in this PDF document and you can see how it's divided everything into different chapters so we have chapter one all the way to like chapter seven and then we have questions for you if you want to ask something like, like what are the extreme challenges mentioned in the document for example we can select it here and then if we ask this question in our AI tool here you notice the document does not provide specific details about extreme challenges in the construction of the science and technology park so we have our answer right there and there's no need for you to go over all these pages if you have a pdf document that has hundreds and hundreds of pages then this would definitely save you time if you say something like summarize what points are mentioned in this document then it will be able to do that and you notice all the points are now in point form all the way from point one to point number six and this is a pretty cool new ai feature that will help you be able to save time on your document i'll leave a link to this website in the description of this video if you want to check it out for yourself and uh, shout out to UPDF for sponsoring this video if you like it leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video pretty soon peace